Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing some LED solo path lights and you guys are currently watching Freely. Episode, we're reviewing some solo LED landscape spotlights from the company Wow Sweet. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but this spotlight has many features to bring to the table. Obviously, those solo panels, so you don't need to put any, any batteries, you don't need to um, supply a power with a DC cable. All it does is it charges up um, throughout the day, and then when it's nighttime, you can actually have these lights turn on automatically. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, Make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about this product, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read a similar comment I do receive. And if you guys do enjoy this video after watching it, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went down below and left the like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product or get more information about the spotlights product information and details will be down below in the description for those who are interested in getting more details specifications and information about this product but right now what we're gonna do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video So as you guys can see, the overall packaging of these solo landscape lights are fairly simple, and there's a few specifications and details which we're gonna take a closer look at with a secondary camera angle. We got a picture representation of the solo LED spotlights right here, and it just has 100 LED solo landscape lights. But let's actually just get cracking with the unboxing of these spotlights. So, they do come inside like a plastic kind of bubble wrap kind of baggy to kind of protect it, and I do wanna Mentioned, the great thing about these spotlights is you can either use stakes to put them into the ground or if you want to you can actually utilize um, um, what is it called some screws and brackets to actually mount this onto your wall we have everything laid out in front of this camera right now we obviously included with a user guide manual which will give you guys a lot more details about how to set up this um, solo LED spotlight we have some stakes that we can actually put inside the ground as you guys can see and all you need to do is actually attach this with the solo LED spotlight lights and you can actually stick it into the ground and secure it that way on this side right here we actually have our two LED spotlights and you guys can see this is how they look like there is 108 different LED bulbs that are associated with this LED solo spotlight and then on the top we obviously have our solo panel it has the company's branding on the side and you know overall I can definitely see these you know last for a pretty long time because it's made out of pretty durable plastic so you don't have to worry about having these get damaged um, very soon and on the back side we do have our button to actually turn on toggle off and on and you know change it to the, all the different modes um, the four different modes that this solo path light has so that's really nice to see and honestly that's basically it for the unboxing and right now what we're gonna do is actually move over to the testing and demonstration portion of this video As I was saying in the unboxing portion of the video, there's two different ways you can actually set up these solo path lights. You can either mount it onto the side of your wall, or you can actually use these stakes that they included to actually insert these into the ground. With the stakes, what you need to do is essentially just take one of the stakes that they included with the packaging, and what we need to do is use this attachment and basically just put it in like this. And you guys can see um, the stake is connected to one of these adapters. Let me actually open one of these up. This is what I just opened up from one of the baggies and you guys can see we got two washers and a screw um, thing that we can use to actually secure this LED spotlight. So what we need to do is flip this onto its backside and now you take this um, stake and put it in between right here. So now what I'll do is I'll take a washer and just kind of put it in like that 
And now on the back side of this, we just have to screw it in. So I'm screwing it in right now. This is now connected to this stake. So now if I had this set up outside, I could push this into the ground or into my grass or into wherever I decide to set this up and I can easily adjust the angle of this solo LED spotlight. So what we're going to do now is actually proceed to testing out both of these solo LED path lights outside and see what they're capable of and also all the different modes that they have to to awful. Okay, so we're currently outside right now, and we're gonna be testing out the solo path light. We're gonna see how it looks like, how it performs in the dark. I'm gonna full shine it at you guys, and then afterwards I'll shine it towards the fences behind me so we can actually see how effective these solo path lights are. Let me just stick it into the ground right here, and just press down. And now let's actually test out the solo path light. So there's actually four different modes for the brightness. So this is it being in the most dim form right now. We also have medium, so this is medium. We have high, and we also have a breathing mode. So it's gonna kind of breathe in and breathe out. So you guys can see it's kind of breathing in, breathing out. And what I'm gonna do is actually turn off my light so you guys can actually see all these different modes in complete darkness. So what I'm gonna do now is actually turn this back on. So this is the low setting. We got medium. And we also have high. So this is the highest setting that this solo path light can actually get to. And then we also have that breathing mode, which I showed you guys just moments ago. So it's really nice that they included all these different four modes you can actually use um, in the dark. All right, next up what we're gonna do is actually take the solo path light and turn it behind me so we can actually light up the fences to see how bright the brightness can actually get with this solo path light. So currently the solo path light is completely off, but let me turn it on. So this is our lowest brightness, medium, and this is our highest brightness. So you guys can see it's covering a large area right now. And obviously we still got that breathing mode that I showed you guys earlier. So it's gonna breathe in and breathe out. Now let's repeat the same thing in the dark. So now it's completely dark. I turned off all my studio lights and now we're gonna test out the solar path light onto the fence. So let me turn it on. So this is it in its lowest setting. Medium setting. And this is it in its highest setting. You guys can see it's covering a large area. So if you wanted to use this to light up your garden, light up your patio, you know, backyard, um, light up your tree at night, you can easily do so with the solo path light. And then we also have that breathing mode that I showed you guys earlier. So it's just gonna breathe in and breathe out which is really, really nice. So with that little demo that we just kind of did, you guys can see that these solar path lights do its job, you know? They are really effective, they can cover a large area, and they're very bright. And I love that those four different, um, what is it called, modes they can actually go to. There's 108 different LED lights embedded into this. And the good thing about these solar path lights is once the sun, or if there's something that, um, like when the sun is out, it'll actually turn off by itself. So I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. It's like for instance, if I take my phone's flashlight here and point it at it, you guys can see it turns off. Same thing with this one, it turns off completely. So once the sun is up, these solar path lights will turn off completely. You don't have to do anything with it. But you can actually set it to the mode you want it to. So if you want it in that low setting, low, medium, or high, it will automatically turn on to whichever setting you set it at lastly. So it's a fantastic product and I had no issues with the demo. So, one of my final opinions and remarks about the Solo LED Path Lights from the company Wow Sweet. I'm, I don't know how you pronounce the name, but I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But you guys can see these did a fantastic job of lighting up our area. You know, I tested out all the different modes and they did a fantastic job of presenting really nicely in the dark. And they did cover a huge area, especially when these were at the full brightness. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode, and if you guys did, make sure you guys 
go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and a little time when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about these solar LED pack lights, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and we have some comment ID received. So if any inquiries whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy this video after watching, I would greatly appreciate if you guys went down below and left the like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. Um, if you guys need to get in contact with me or if you're a business wanting to work with me, our business increase email is creweliteyt at oak.com. You guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me or if you need photo assistance with this product, you guys can email me through that business increase email. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product or get more information about these solar LED path lights, product information and details will be down below in the description for those who want to get more specifications, details, parameters about these solo LED path lights. But with that being said, we are going to conclude the video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I've been making it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode. Crew Elite signing out. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.